Nigeria and indeed Africa have advised to use indigenous languages as the basis for instructing students and learning in schools as it is the panacea to tackle new colonialism and national development. This advice was handed down during the public presentation of the first language, our hub, Ideas Towards a Greater Africa, authored by Solomon Atala. Details in this report. <laughs> Africa remains generally underdeveloped compared with the rest of the world. This author, Solomon Atala, believes that the main reason for the poor report is a continent's education, which is on the wrong pedestal in foreign languages. Africa must be more than That's the name of the group. Somehow, I simply wrote down the name and the title. Please, a round of applause. Celebrate a round of applause. At this public presentation of the first language, Our Home, Solomon Natala is pushing strongly for the return to using the mother tongue from the elementary level. He encapsulates it in this reference book, which advocates on prioritizing the African culture for the continent to take its true place among the coming of nations. The reviewer shares similar sentiments. It has been, uh, it's what we all know, that outside of the African continent, the first languages are used for education and governance. And that is the uh, reason behind the height they have attained. But as they have attained this height by second industrial revolution, they imposed their own languages on the entire of Africa. Germans write in German, Japanese write in Japanese, Russians write in Russian, but Africans write in Arabic, they write in English, they write in French, they write in Portuguese. Okay. These days you also have people uh, who are proud to tell you they can't speak their uh, native tongues. They can't. They can't. They, they, they can't speak Yoruba, or they can't speak uh, Igbo, or they can't speak uh, Awusa. Just how soon can this renaissance be seen? Other concerns are raised about building the capacity of teachers who will instruct in indigenous African languages. This is just as the author and reviewer believe that originality is lost when teaching or translating in foreign languages. Even in my days, then don't speak vernacular. If you speak vernacular, you are penalized. So it is not just the mothers and fathers of today. That is how they programmed us. And they wanted us to remain under their feet. Mama, I don't think that's, and I, that's what I think we want to put a stop to, Ma. You have to start a career to take an interest in um, uh, African studies. Let me put it that way, and African languages. So when you have people who are trained, especially teachers, and it's not just at the university level, I even understand because it is the foundation that matters. So our educational policy planners, okay, should first, uh, what they, you know, create laws, okay, that will emphasize mother tongue education right from nursery and primary school. The author concludes that Africa is not modern because the continent has not used its false languages in the education of its people, as done by others since Renaissance, explaining on the need to change this narrative. <laughs> Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.